Welcome. My name is Matthew Diesner. I'm a regional manager for the Wireless Telecom Group for the Test and Measurement Division, Noisecom and Booten. Today we're going to talk about the Booten Electronics Peak Power Sensor. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is how this sensor can be used in communications. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to use a peak power sensor measuring communication signals. We have a demo weight that's generating a 2.5 gigahertz peak power signal pulsed. And on this signal, we are injecting a 20 megahertz worth of noise from a noise comm diode. We're outputting it into an amplifier that has 14 dB of gain, and then we're going to monitor the output of this amplifier for what we call crest factor. That's what's going to separate us from other average power sensors. So to demonstrate what we are talking about with that pulsed signal that's being generated, it could be a pulsed LTE signal, a Wi-Fi frame. If we're looking at this with an average power meter, what they would do is place their gates on the signal and give you an average power reading. And in this case, I'm seeing 2.25 dB. But what we're missing is the transients that we're looking for. If I show the envelope mode on here, and the min and the max, this is what people are missing. These are the OFDM excursions for the peak signal. And what's unique is that I can set my gates here, since we have enough video bandwidth, we have 195 megahertz of video bandwidth with this particular sensor, which will be ideal for Wi-Fi and multiple LTE signals. I can switch to the CCDF graph. CCDF here is my percentage in time versus my peak power in reference to my average power. The information that we derive from the GUI is here. My average power is 2.25 dB. And then I can also then look at my crest factor at any given percentage point of time. To prove that I'm actually doing something, I'm going to input, actually increase the amplitude by 1 dB into the amplifier, and I'll start seeing my average power changing. Right now I'm at 4, or I'm at 5, but what should start happening is I compress the amplifier, my crest factors at these lower percentages will start decreasing, thereby inferring bit error rate. So this shows that how a peak power sensor, broadband, can actually give you more accurate readings in communication devices. Thank you very much for joining us on this short video. For any other information, please go to Booten.com and look under our resource section where you'll find videos and white papers regarding this topic. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.